Good morning. I have been itching to find a yard sale, but the weather has been so cold, I've found none until today. I was scrolling on Facebook and saw that the little church behind me in a town super close to us was having a rummage sale. So let's go check out a rummage sale in a teeny tiny town. Let's go. <laughs> I was really excited when I got into this sale because the room was jam-packed and straight away I headed to the linen section. I probably could have spent a lot more time than I did in the clothing and shoes. There were vintage goodies hiding in all the nooks and crannies and I'm wishing that I actually slowed down and pulled out more things to show you because it was that good. This suit was amazing, completely handmade, probably from the 70s, exactly my size, and in a really cozy fabric, perfect for fall. And after that, I just started loading up my arms with all the vintage clothing I was finding. like this goodie from the 1980s covered in embroidery and beads in a cropped length, fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's a really cute little. Not expecting to find clothes. So much good. This is so pretty. This navy wool coat was really beautiful. 100% wool, probably from the 60s with a rounded collar. So sweet. I had to sort of dump the things I was holding on a table and start to sort of try some things on. The ladies actually let me go in a side room and make sure that the skirts were gonna fit as well, which was super kind. Nobody throws a yard sale like the church ladies. This was so cute, a little set, super summery, but I don't really care. Had eyelet trim on the pockets and then a crew neck sweater with little eyelet trim details to match. This little tourist bag was super sweet in leather with some painted details. And of course, the traditional Tilly hat. These are actually great for gardening and they have the chin strap underneath to keep it tucked nice and tight to your head.
I really liked this quilted bag. I thought it might be a Vera Bradley, but I couldn't find a tag anywhere. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a Vera Bradley bag or a knockoff. Kids looking for Halloween costumes would have done really well at this sale. This pretty dress even had a fan. Let's keep digging. I had to open up that Ziploc bag because there were lots of pretty pieces and they were just sort of shoved in there. So I pulled out my favorite and put it on top thinking maybe that would entice someone else to come over and have a peek through the bag. It was really pretty embroidery. Not sure what these beads were. I thought these might have been a pair of vintage high waist trousers and I was really excited because they looked to be about my size but when I gave them a good once over I could tell that they were actually quite new. And you know we're going to look through the Christmas stuff. I didn't pick up anything Christmas today but it's always inspiring to look through a collection of Christmas. I think I'm going to start decorating my cottage soon, maybe in an upcoming video. I mean, isn't that sweet? This jacket was so cute. Had Princess Diana vibes from the 80s and a little bit of a Chanel vibe as well. And let's just keep digging through the jewelry. Tons of hair clips, tons of jewelry items. I did get that uh, necklace with the little gold X's on it. I considered getting this one as well. It came with a matching ring, just a bit too simple for me but I'm sure a lot of people had a really good time at this sale because there were options for everyone. Loads of different styles from brand new to vintage. Clothing. Was not expecting to find clothing, but got tent. I have found another one, a giant yard sale right behind me in this community church. Let's go ahead in and check it out. I thought the last church sale was so good, I started looking for other churches holding rummage sales. And this one had a huge selection of books that were pretty interesting, but I didn't leave with anything from this sale. They had mostly really useful items, um, which is great when you are going to a rummage sale and you're looking for really useful items for your home or basic clothing to wear, but I'm usually looking for that something um, a little bit different, a little bit of a wild card or something that just calls out to me, this is super unique and you need to take this home. They did have a good selection of jewelry. Most of it was 80s kind of geometric shapes and solid colors. I gotta be honest, that was the shortest amount of time I've ever spent in a rummage sale in a church. No go for that one. Couldn't find anything that I needed, but there was a sign on the street saying, 
yard sale this way and I think this is another church maybe um, Serbian Orthodox I can't really tell yet but they're having a sale too so let's check that out <music> This rummage sale had loads of media, lots of movies and DVDs. These mugs were really cute. That was probably the only thing I considered at this sale. I didn't end up finding anything to take home at this one either, but there were a lot of unique things to look at and dig through and really that is half the fun sometimes. Do you guys remember these from the 80s? They were necklaces made of clay and they have this sort of metallic fabric twisted goodness to it. Um, I considered getting this set, but when I had a look at it, um, the matching pieces were kind of broken and busted and all over the place. So I did leave it be. Maybe someone will come and pick it up just for the necklace. A button collector would have done really well here as well. Some vintage buttons, some funnies buttons, some rude buttons. <laughs> they had a bit of everything. I have to say I got really excited. If you see the cream color case in the background, the wording says Sherman jewelry on it and I was so excited to start digging around here because I thought maybe I would find the necklace and earrings that were meant to go in that Sherman case. Spoiler alert, I didn't, but I still like to pick everything up and have a look at it. There were a lot of different eras here and some vintage stuff and maybe even some stuff that was antique as well. I don't know why these earrings ended up in this bag with these applique pieces, but I knew they were in there and I just wanted to have a look at them. They weren't in good condition, otherwise they were really pretty. Thinking this was a chain link belt, still not really sure. I love looking through old jewelry pieces, looking at signatures and stamps, or just trying to find signatures and stamps. The best way to learn about vintage jewelry is to just go through it, pick things up, hold them. Like this, I think it's a celluloid box and it looked Art Deco vibes to me. Let me know in the comments what you think that jewelry box was. And same with this, I'm thinking scarf clip. The best way to learn is just going out and digging through things, uh, getting a feel for the different time periods and the materials that they used. This is super fun to me. What do you guys think of these beads? They were really interesting. I'm thinking 1960s and hand painted. Two for two, uh, not finding anything. I'm gonna do one more stop at a St. Vincent de Paul's. It's only open 
um, random days and today happens to be one of the days that they're open. So I'm gonna pop in there, but hey, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, you never know. So let's check this place out too. Try number three. We were on a roll, so I thought, let's just keep digging through the treasures. I love to get to this location. It's just a bit out of the way for me, and their hours are a bit funny as well. It's hard to remember what they are. Sometimes I try and pop in here, and they're closed, so we were lucky they were open. These chargers, I'm regretting uh, looking back now because they would be so great at a Christmas table. And it was a huge set, I think eight or 12. These little shot glasses were adorable, like tiny crystal cups. I don't enjoy shots myself, but they would look really pretty set up at a Christmas party table. I'm back home and I thought I would give you guys a really super quick haul um, before I put this stuff away. I just went and tried on this cozy kind of jammy-ish two-piece yellow set, which I will use as jammies. I went to three places and I only ended up buying things at that first place. Um, you never know how it's gonna go. So from that first um, shop, not shop, from the first church. I got this denim jacket that I thought was really cute. They had really good prices as well, kind of like an 80s, hey Wendy, um, 80s kind of number. Sorry, my dog like really wants um, to be <laughs> in the video this time. Um, I thought that was really cute. And the ladies there were charging between $3 and $5 per item. So the prices were amazing. And the items I got were really super fun. So I had this 80s kind of uh, denim jacket with some beads and just kind of fun look to it. I got a few, a few skirts and suits. I got a wool um, plaid skirt. That is super sweet, probably from the 70s. This coat is beautiful. Um, the rounded collar makes me think late 60s, early 70s. It's navy and wool, just really sweet. Kind of like a longer length coat. And again, between three and $5, so you really can't go wrong. I got a suit set in this lovely fall burnt orange. It is cozy. It fits me somehow perfectly and it was handmade. That's the top. It just sits open, but I was really excited about this. Picked it up for $5. And lastly, this suit is so good. I'm probably gonna belt it and wear it with some gold earrings, but it has a plain skirt but the jacket, the jacket is so good and it has like this Chanel sort of vibe to it with all the fringe and fabulous gold buttons down the front. Loved it. So that's my haul, some fall clothing and just a really fun day checking out these giant church bazaar yard sales. Thanks for coming along thrifting with me at these church bazaars and I'll keep my eye out for some more to bring you along with me. Have a great week. Bye.